Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, talking today about Bitcoin price, about the news, about a trading tip, about some travel tips, and maybe something else, but it's going to be a short video, because I really don't have too much time today, I'm going to try to keep it short but powerful, so sorry for me, not ranting on any news or all that stuff, short but powerful today, because I just don't have the time to edit and all that stuff, guys. Let's quickly jump into the first part, into the news. Bam! The news, guys. The first thing that everyone needs to understand about Bitcoin is that Bitcoin works and is safe and secure because of Bitcoin mining. And Bitcoin mining is often seen as something that's, that's happening in these huge um, buildings with huge amounts of mining rigs and huge amounts of hashing power and using green energy and using water energy. You know, you know what you think. If you think about Bitcoin mining, you think about big ass machines all distributed into a building now yes that's mining but that part of mining is making the bitcoin mining a little bit more centralized like there is more power in these mining pools in these huge mining companies and um, they that's centralizing the bitcoin blockchain mining hashing power now there is this new alternative that is this one here that you can see on the screen over there guys uh, that is bitcoin mining taken back to the people it is now possible to have a Bitcoin miner running for $3. Like, if you read this article, $3 buys you a Bitcoin miner. And no, you're not gonna make bucks with a Bitcoin miner, you're not gonna make any money with it, but you're supporting the decentralization of the Bitcoin mining industry. It goes against those huge Bitcoin mining corporations that are trying to centralize the Bitcoin mining and the hashing power. So if everyone in the world now would buy this $3 mining rig and start to mine Bitcoin as well, then again, we completely decentralize this and take the power back from the big institutional huge mining investors to the people and by death take the power back in Bitcoin to the people. Decentralization is the most important thing we need to do. So if you want to support the decentralization of Bitcoin guys, then yes, you should invest three bucks in a micro Bitcoin miner that fits in your pocket that you can take all over the world. I'm going to do that. I'm going to order a micro Bitcoin miner and just take it all over the world so I can always say, hey guys, I am a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say as well, I am a Bitcoin miner. And that's only for three bucks supporting decentralization. That was the news for today. Bam. I have three charts today for you guys. Uh, this is the first chart. I found this one on X, Stock Money Lizards. Beautiful chart that simplifies a little bit uh, what my more deep charts will show you as well. But this one, look, we climbed 55%, we fall 23%, then we climbed 58%, then we fall 20%, then we climb 28%, then we fall 20%. If you now look to the bottom of the chart, you can also see the RSI. And you can see that that RSI is oversold at the moment, which means we need to somewhere start to go up again with the RSI because we can't stay and go down. That is not possible to keep just going down. We need to return. There will be, again, some strength in the market. And when that happens, the price again will, will go up. So for me, those people are now calling for 20k and 10k and 5k they are fucking crazy because that is not going to happen we are going to see a bounce again and that bounce will probably happen in my opinion near the mid of september or something it will go back around that 30k level again that's my opinion guys beautiful chart now then we have another chart that's telling you the same i found this one also on x i think this one was ta trader allen or something and um, he is comparing two periods with each other the first period is that period there which you can see 2014 um, all the way up to the 2017 bull run you can see that the weekly chart on the bottom the stock is also bottoming out beautifully below that dotted line and in the top part of the chart you can see this green line that's a 200 weekly moving average and you can see that the bitcoin price and that first purple uh, arrow went down below the 200 weekly moving average and then it tried to break that 200 weekly moving average again but it was resisted two times that is at these two 
red shit <laughs> piles of shit over there. I think it's piles of shit. And every time um, we were resistant and breaking that 200 weekly at moving average till we did. When you can see that Bitcoin price going above that green line again, that was the start of that huge bull market all the way up to the 2017 top guys. Now, if you compare that left side to the right side of the chart now, we can see the same. We had a double top. We broke that 200 weekly moving average. We came down and we are testing that green 200 weekly moving average now for the second time. And there's two piles of shit again. But there will be a moment that we are going to break it and that will lead again into that beautiful bull run. That is how you look at the charts. And you can see already what is happening on the bottom with the stock. You can see already that we are went up again. Now we should be going sideways into that beautiful bull run again. Very beautiful chart. And then we have the last chart. Um, sorry, this is not like 4K chart, but here also you can see the logarithmic growth curve. It has contained each top and each bottom since Bitcoin's entire existence. And yes, the bottom of the monthly candles every time held 0.786 Fibonacci level. And that was from each prior bear market low. Every time again. Look, those yellow squares. Those squares are calculated every time from that beautiful previous bottom to the top and then a Fibonacci retracement brings it back to 0.786. It happened the first time, it happened the second time and now also the third time. So no, I don't see Bitcoin falling to these levels of 10k guys. I see Bitcoin beautifully going sideways a little bit before it will explode again to a new top at the top of that range which is a beautiful top here at around 120k and that is something that is in line with my ideas as well. I hope you really enjoyed the TA chart guys, but now the trading tip for today. The trading tip for today is very simple but powerful, stay informed. You always need to stay informed if you invest it in an asset. Read the news, read blog posts, read all the articles, watch the news, whatever you want to do to stay informed on your asset. If you invest in Bitcoin, stay informed about the news because the news is highly influential when, com when it comes to the Bitcoin price and also to other assets. Is there going to be a hard fork? Is there going to be an update? Is there going to be an upgrade? Uh, is some people going to use a certain blockchain for certain industries? Stay informed because that will help you to become a better trader and a better investor. Bam. And staying informed is also something guys that leads now to the travel tip of today guys is budget wisely. Always make a budget when you become a digital nomad guys. Make a budget, a monthly budget with an excel sheet. Keep track on that budget. Don't spend too much in the beginning because I always knew and you think you're completely free and you feel free and you go start to spend money on all that stuff that you should not be spending probably in the beginning. Make a budget. If you have 30k to travel a year, you know that you need to spend 2,500 US dollars per month. Try to stick to that budget. It is very important because else your trip could be a little bit shorter than you might think so. Then when your digital nomad income is up and running, you can adjust your budget a little bit higher, okay? And I know how it is, guys. Yes, I know how it is. I know if you start traveling, there are so much beautiful things and everybody is so doing so much stuff and there are digital nomads that make a shitload of money and they can afford to do a little bit more luxury stuff than you and then you feel like, ah, I should be doing that as well. I only live once. Yes, I know that only live once feeling, guys, but you have a budget. The moment your budget allows you to do that stuff, you can do that stuff. And it's very simple. Everything that you want to do during your digital normal travels, you can do on a budget. Yes, you can climb these trees very expensive, but you probably figure out that you can also climb these trees here in this climbing forest for free if you just be kind to the people, offer them some help for a day, and then maybe they will allow you to climb it for a day. Or if you tell them, hey, I make YouTube videos, can I climb uh, your forest and then make a YouTube video? Uh, yes, you can, because they get promotion and you get fun and you create a beautiful video out of it. That's a win-win situation and that is how you maintain your budget. Try to get stuff for free as well. Now, that's the simple travel tip for today, guys. Always stick to your budget. Bam.
And I know guys, some of you think, oh yeah, you thought it's very simple. You think everyone is going to give away everything for free. That all depends on you. Next beautiful advice that I want to give you that I experienced in the last seven years of travels. Authenticity is the most important core value you can have. Be authentic. Be yourself. Don't try to be a fake person. Don't try to impress others by pretending to be someone else. Be yourself. That will lead to happiness and success. Because people will feel your vibe. They will feel your authenticity. They will feel that you really want to create something beautiful for them. And if they feel this and the vibe is connecting, yes, they will give you some things for free if you provide some beautiful result for them. Be authentic. Be yourself. Never think that you're not good enough for this world. You are unique. You are special. There is only one version of you. And that needs to be the authentic you, the you that you really want to be. Don't think about what other people want to hear or what other people want to see or how other people look at you. Be yourself, be authentic, feel yourself. And then people will start to feel you as well and then everything will slowly start to happen automatically. That's when you get into the good vibe, just by being authentic and being yourself. That was my advice for today. Bam! After the beautiful charts and this training tip, I completely forgot to ask you one question. And the question is this one. In the last couple of months, I've been working together with a Bitcoin trader. He's only trading the Bitcoin USDT part. And he is making massive success with doing so. So he's having beautiful returns on investment. I think last month, somewhere around 28%, which is a beautiful performance in that month, guys. So um, I've been tracking him already for a year now. Really cool guy, really good trades. Would you love me to open a telegram group where he will share all his trades and yes you will be needing to do something to get access to the telegram group for example use the link down below to buy bit if you click that link down to the bit if you will join my link to buy bit then you will get access uh, to the telegram group where he will post his daily trades and always and also keeps you up to date on these trades when to long when to short when to take a stop loss uh, when to uh, adjust your trade blah 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 all of that stuff in a telegram group would you like to be able to to join such a telegram group or is that something that you wouldn't like to do because you want to trade and learn to trade for yourself in my opinion it could be really good because it will help you how traders are really making their trades and by that you know if you keep doing that then and repeating that you learn to trade yourself as well because you see the moments he goes long and short and all that but that's my opinion i want to know your opinion let me know down below bam And with that last advice, guys, I'm going to end this short video. I hope you enjoyed this short format as well. Sorry, I couldn't rant for hours on all the subjects I want to rant on, but I really don't have the time today. So um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the travel tip? What do you think about the mindfulness mindset trip? What do you think about everything I talked about today? Let me know down below in the comments because YouTube loves you to do comments over there guys now thank you for watching i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again probably with a longer format or oh, if there is something you would like me to make videos about a subject in life a subject in bitcoin a subject in blockchain let me know down below i would love to make this an interactive channel i would love to talk about the stuff that you want to learn okay let me know down below thanks for watching see you tomorrow again Bam.